you think? Good. Hey, what's up? It's Sunday, February 9th, 2020. You got a part in the mess. I've been like working on cleaning and picking up the house all day. I know it looks really messy, but almost there. Uh, I got just about all of the laundry done, most of it put away. Um, I got a clean load of dishes. I got a few more here. Uh, I'm just working on charging up some batteries because I finished this bad boy. What do you think? So, this guy is. Thunderstrike Mark II. Uh, I can't quite figure out why there's a gap in the body on the one side. I'm bolting it together, but it works. Um, I did do a bunch of custom wiring and stuff. Um, it has two cooling fans inside. Um, right now, I don't have the electronics in here for the weapon motor, but I do have the weapon uh, motor in, like, over here. You can even see I added a little mark too. And this is one of the other bigger uh, features too. So um, previously the old model ended right here. So there was just this section, literally this zigzag section. <clears throat> I added all of this from that cross bar beam back and opened it up. Um, so this is all new. Um, I added vent holes and that's kind of where the um, fans line up they're going to either draw or blow hot air out or draw cool air in depending on which way they're going um, i even added vent holes on the front side <clears throat> this has the bigger tires and it's invertible and <clears throat> i did add holes back here for leds but I don't, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I've spent way too much time and money on this thing to uh, deal with that. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of sick of it, to be honest. Um, and if you look, see how this is rounded? This is also a Mark II feature. So because it's rounded, when you hit a bump, it'll just push and jump over it, kind of. So, like, there's, like, cracks in the floor. Not cracks, but, like, transitions in the floor. And also even carpet. Over in there, you can see the carpet. Before, when it was going in the carpet, it was digging in. It was hard digging in. Um, I did kind of extend this rear bumper almost so it's even with the tire. And then later on, if we ever add like more armor, we can bolt it into here or whatever and then have it extend over here to protect the tires. Um, so this is Mark II. Um, I'm already kind of starting to think of some ideas for uh, Mark III, I guess. But, um, yeah, this is all 3D printed. This is kind of like a, a weaker setting. This is only like maybe 15% infill or something like that. But um, I do need to make a cover for the top. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The previous old cover was like solid. It was, you know, I think what I'm going to do is basically just add a bunch of like big holes and make it so like the cover lets the heat out and uh, you know everything in here gets really really hot the way I have it set up right now is each battery plugs into a motor controller um, you can see the motor controller down in there and the other one's sideways but it's over here here's our um, radio stuff right here and like I said the only thing missing is the ESC for the uh, motor and or for the weapon motor and that thing is huge it's like a big uh, 30 amp ESC so I either need to find a smaller 30 amp ESC that can handle uh, this brushless motor or um, cram it in here somehow it should be able to fit but this is all custom wiring that I um, made today you know I had to um, these fans each plug into the transmitter up front here so I had to run extra long wires and solder, I soldered everything, resoldered the uh, drive motors, uh, the connections, you're not even going to be able to see them in there. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of happy about it. it. It seems to work pretty well. It works better in terms of going over the carpet and the transitions and the floor and stuff. So, um, and then this is another project I'm working on. It's just a toy um, Tesla Cybertruck. 
And I think it looks really nice. This is the um, silk silver or something like that. Um, what happened was I need um, to get some M3 brass nuts to push in here for the wheels to mount. Um, I thought I had them, but the ones that I have are M4, so they're not the right size. So um, I will finish that up once that's done. Um, I'm working on a couple more hearts, so I gotta uh, break off all of this uh, support. And uh, I wanna um, ship one of these to Grandma, um, along with a wire that Grant wrote. It says, Dear Grandma and Grandpa, thank you for the letter. Dad and I are doing good. We miss you guys. I have been getting a lot of good stickers. We are sending you a special Valentine's Day present, and we love you. And have fun. Love, Grant and Dad. And he also made a picture. So, um, yeah, I want to get the rose, another one of these, done tonight. So I can um, put this all in the mail maybe tomorrow. Wish I could just say, like, only do support for, like, the first two millimeters of the model instead of support for the whole thing. But um, not too bad. Um, I will say for this, I did have the, somehow I have the motors reversed or something. So, um, we do have the invert feature. And if I just flip the switch, then it drives properly. Otherwise, if it's not flipped, forward actually makes it go backwards. Backwards makes it go forwards. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. I'll fix that later. I'm just exhausted. I've been running and gunning and doing stuff. Um, <clears throat> Nikki and I on Friday went and did horseback riding. I mentioned it, showed some videos on Friday, but they gave us this. It's a flower vase with some carnations, and uh, they also gave us a printed picture. This is um, a present that Nikki got me, so they're kind of like um, like uh, stones. It says, when my heart found you, it knew, and it says, you are my north star. Oh, oh there it is. You can see it. It's in the back of this one. Oh, heart. But if you look, this says, our first date, a moment in time when things came together and the stars aligned. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. So it was um, June 30th, uh, 2018. So this is what the star, the stars or the sky looked like back then. Um, so kind of cool. Very cool. We don't really get to see the stars very much here in Chicago land because of light pollution. So it kind of sucks. But uh, I just wanted to make a quick video for today, and um, you know, I, I know I didn't have a chance earlier. I gotta give Sophie a bath. It's like 6.30 and I already wanna go to bed. I've been up since about seven, so not super early, but it's just been a long day and stuff. I had to put away all my camera stuff earlier today, and uh, I don't know what else, so a lot going on, but uh, I'm good, I'm just exhausted. I've been watching the rest of that um, TV series, Containment, it looks like I it tonight so I'm excited about that stay tuned for more